But welcome back, Bowling World fans. So today is October 12th. Now, we are headed tomorrow to the PBA Odessa Super Regional. Uh, but we're going to Odessa, Texas. We are going to go to Lubbock, Texas once again to meet up with Stefan Wood to be able to bowl the last Super Regional and also the last Singles Regional of the year outside of like the Southwest Invitational. We're bowling on Cheetah this weekend, and I just want to give you guys a quick look at what the bag is going to have. So to start off with, in the last episode of the vlog for the Oklahoma City Regional, we took a Purple Hammer, a Kentucky Purple Hammer, and a Mexico Purple Hammer, and our spare ball. We actually left the Ebonite bag that I took in that video with Stefan, so he has that currently. But let me show you what's in the bag that I'm taking with me here from home after we found out what the pattern is. Okay, so in this bag, we have an attitude control. We also have a 16 pound purple hammer and a two inch pin Huda power core. As always, our Nexus bag is coming with us. We are only bowling one single squad. The field is looking at about 60 to 70 people right now. I'm sure that there'll be some more that get added on over today, tomorrow, and the next day during the practice session. If so, awesome. If not, we are gonna have a very tough field to compete against to be able to make it into the top third of the field to be able to make it into Sunday. But let's go ahead and get packed up and head on over to the airport. So YouTube magic, three, two, Now at the airport, this is probably the busiest I've seen the airport. Security doesn't look super packed, which is a good thing. But this airport being busy is never a good thing. Because last time this airport was busy was Bull Expo last year, and I actually almost missed my flight going to Kentucky. If you guys don't remember that vlog, check that vlog out right there. Security looks like it's moving pretty quick, uh, which is always a good thing. They're doing really good in this airport to keep things moving quick because they've gotten bad for a couple months. So we're gonna get the security and uh, head on over to Dallas. As always, our connection in lovely Dallas and Love Field. And then go from there to Lubbock. Starbucks. We go from here to Dallas, from Dallas to Lubbock. First light's about 7.30, 7.40. Hey, buddy. All right, so we are in Whitewood Lanes in Lubbock, Texas. We are here with Stefan. Stefan, are you surprised? Uh, yeah. That I got here early by a whole half day. Yeah, 12 hours, like almost to the dot. It's exactly 12 hours. So I wasn't supposed to get here till midnight, but then I realized that late flights get canceled and delayed more often. It didn't sound like a fun time. So we came early. That way we don't have issues and then we wouldn't get here tomorrow and then be really late because late tomorrow would not be good. All right, we made it to Diamond Lanes. We're gonna go ahead and practice. We have about an hour left, so we're gonna get to it. We're gonna talk to some people, see what's up, see what's game plans for everybody. So let's get to it. No, 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 I want you in the picture oh, too. Oh, bad, okay. So, so this is what happens when you go a dollar per shot against Keith Lesko on Cheetah and you don't know how to throw it left. Don't mess with the old guy. What he said. We are bowling with Chris Barnes, 
Lima and Abuela Castillo. Uh, and then five and six to start. And we move across all these pairs. To look up everybody. <laughs> They're bowling the sweeper. So me and Stefan are gonna hang out here for a few minutes and just kind of wind down and let them bowl and just watch and see what's up. They're bowling on the leftover of the practice session. Seven balls. What's up? What bowling balls look good? Uh, reactive ones. On Cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> Sir? Pitch black on one, two, three. Uh, my purples look really good from the ditch. And the moment I went that way, it's like, you mean so slow. You know, when Cody told you to move 10 left with everything? Yes. Cody Myers. Shout out to Cody Myers. Told me to move left. <laughs> Imagine. I'm left handed. I don't know how to move left. Okay, so we have 64 bowlers. We're cutting to the top 21. Eight games. Cheetah. Topography is weird here. I had a couple pairs where I hit and I was like, hmm. Ball them, hook. Oh. And like, like up the ditch too. It wasn't even like whenever I was trying to like circle it. So. A lot of slashies, not not a lot of dashies, no, no multiple numbers in a square, and a lot of this ball right here. See this one? The one that has the hammer on it. What? What was that for? <laughs> no multiple numbers, no multiple in, a square. numbers in a square. <laughs> uh, Keith said that two weeks ago, and it's still funny. Hey Eric, so now you can't say that I didn't get you strikes on the vlog. No strikes on the vlog, because every single time I put the camera on him, he decided to slide yeah. the head pin over and not I, into the pin. I can't excuse my actions necessarily, but I do strike a little bit during tournaments, and yeah. Patrick isn't usually there. I'm not really good at capturing the strikes. It's I'm really both. good at capturing all the strikes. <laughs> it's both of our faults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. We have a problem. What? Tony didn't put all three of us on the same pair. It could have been really. It could have been the greatest thing. It could have been you, Eric, and myself on the pair. And if, and if only he would have taken the prize. But he didn't. He just, he just declined it. Yeah. I was like, no. Seriously? No, right? We could have had so much fun tomorrow. I know, right? We could have. We would have, have, we would have had Eric throwing plastic game too. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I know, right, dude? That was... uh, He's still doing plastic, dude. He is doing plastic. Did he try that again? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> There's no purple hammer. They're all cold. No. Oh, there is a purple hammer. Yes. Why are you coming to watch? The fans are... Because I have to work. Working is overrated. More slashy, no dashy. Slashy, yeah. no dashy. But you know what's funny? We're bowling on Cheetah, so like we need a lot of X's. We're bowling at Diamond Lanes in Odessa, Texas. We need a lot of slashies, slashies. not dashies. No dashies. We don't need multiple numbers in a frame, or multiple num numbers in a square. Slashy, no dashy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Well, I have a shirt for you from Keith Lesko. It's a Keith Lesko special. Thank you, sir. And it's uh, sponsored by Ice Gear, baby. You guys need a, anything made? Mr. Allenberger here. That's right. IceGear.shop. Yeah. What, what are we doing? Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Training, training the future. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, that's my special rope. I can't hold this, do it. Here, I won't do this to you. He picks like random people watching and he's like, hey, take some video today. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Isaac. Right. Right. So we cut you the top 21 for tomorrow morning's catcher's round. All players who survive the first cut will catch in the event along with one in five seniors outside of the cash. There are only... So, it is currently 3.36 p.m. on October 22nd. Now, there's a lot of explaining to do. Uh, so, this vlog is gonna go a little bit later up. Uh, this is the Odessa Super Regional vlog that you guys were watching at the beginning. But, here's a few things that happened. So, one, I started off my day with a 95. If you guys don't follow Bella Castillo, she is the current PBA Junior Ambassador that I bowled with that weekend. And she has a video where she went live and you guys can see me going 95. I shot 95, 95, not 195, not 295, literally a two digit number. It happens. Uh, as I've learned, you can't control what happens once you let go of the bowling ball. And I just wanna take the rest of this vlog to kind of speak on what my year has transpired like in the PBA Regional Tour and what mindset I have going into the next season, which actually starts in December after the Southwest Invitational in Lubbock, Texas, the second weekend of December. So I have about a month and a half or so, or two months to be able to really prep for the next season. Now, the first thing that I wanted to say is thank you to all my sponsors from Columbia 300 to Vice to Genesis Bowling Products to creating the difference and all of my other sponsors along with the Bowling World staff, along with all my friends that I have made not only while I've bowled the regional tour, but also all of those that support me on a day-to-day -day basis from years prior. And thank you to all my closer friends like Stefan, who I actually only met about four to six months ago, and everybody else that's out there giving me the push to be able to become better. Now, 
Definitely things have changed a ton over the last six to eight months, starting with the first regional in Copperfield, going all the way through all the different events. I've met so many great people that have given me so much great advice, and I've learned so much about myself, but not only about myself, but about bowling in the whole. I need to do a lot of changes and a lot of work to be able to become the bowler that I want to be. And I know I can get there. There's a ton of people that know that I can get there. And I'm just really thankful for everybody that's been a great mentor as well as friends on the regional tour from Keith Lesko to Stefan, to Sean, to Zoe even, to Cody Myers, the Lavery brothers, Eric Jones, all these different people along with Dio Bernard and Rick. There's too many people that I could possibly thank but you guys are the reason why that I keep coming out and bowling. Not only you guys that are watching this video, but all of my friends that I have acquired over the years of me bowling, creating content, or just simply being in the bowling world and bowling the PBA Regional Tour. So thank you to everybody that has been super supportive. I'm hoping this next year we can do a lot greater things, especially because of the fact that everybody's been super helpful, especially like Keith Lesko with the slashy, no dashy thing. I'm super thankful to all of you, and I just don't know how to be able to thank you guys even more, other than continuing doing what I'm doing and going out and bowling all these events. I am gonna go into the 2023 season with my head up high and go ahead and crush the competition as best as I possibly can and just focus on the things that I can control, which is what happens before the foul line and physically get myself better and physically just become a better person. I know I have a lot of things to work on. I've talked to so many different peoples. I need to get better at launch angles. I need to get better at my physical game and controlling the aspects of my physical game. And I need to be able to have a better mentality, not only going into events, but during the event itself. And then afterwards, being able to let go and be able to focus on what I truly need to work on, whether it's a physical thing or it's a ball motion thing. I need to overall just get better at seeing these things quicker. That way I can adapt to them and get out there and do better work. Now, I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody that made it into the Southwest Invitational, along with the RPI from the Southwest. You guys absolutely deserve it, and I hope someday I can join you guys at the top of that echelon. But till the beginning of the season, there's not much for me to do other than practice and get better at my craft. So guys, again, thank you. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, leave a comment down below as to what you want to hear from me more in the regional world. I'm gonna try to bowl the full season of the regional tour next year. I missed a couple stops this year and that was just truly because of the fact that one, lack of time and lack of effort when it came down to it. And that's just something that I have to control around my job. I do again run this YouTube channel along with a bunch of other social media facets along with this shop that's behind me. And if it wasn't for all these things, I wouldn't be able to bowl in the first place. So I'm gonna attempt to bowl the full regional tour starting in December here in the next month and a half. Again, the second week of December, we're going to Lubbock, Texas. So we're gonna go see our buddy Stefan once again. But again, thank you guys very much for all your support. And thank you for all the continued support that you guys give me week on and week out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, I'll talk to you soon.